of you who wish to live in a world where fish fly, birds swim, and I talk about a book on my YouTube channel, may I present to you the world as it is. I can't believe I'm talking about a book. What has become of me? Where is my purple heart? So there's this book that seems to be taking the nation, or at least Yahoo News, by storm. It's a New York Times bestseller. It's Jeanette McCurdy's I'm Glad My Mom Died. You know, that's how you grab somebody's attention, with a title like that. Make them say, huh? Na 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 na? The woman's a genius. God, could you imagine reading this book in front of your mom? For those of you out there that might be interested in reading this book, which should be everybody, may I suggest, you know, taking the cover off? Now it's just a, it's just a yellow book. Now if your mom asks what you're reading, you could say uh, it's, uh, I don't know, the, the perks of being a minion, or uh, the, the Homer Simpson story, I don't know. I was actually reading this book at my part-time job, and when a customer stepped up, I didn't know, you know, which side to lay this book on. If I lay it with the front up, they're gonna see that I was reading a book by that girl from iCarly. But if I lay it with the back up, they might read the reviews on the back and see there's one by Lena Dunham. And unlike Lena, I like to avoid politics. Oh God, her name's on the front too! But now I realize I shouldn't feel embarrassed about reading this book in front of people. Uncomfortable, yes, because of the title, but not embarrassed. Because this book is just great-tastic. Like, I'm serious, this might be the best book I've ever read. And by best book, I mean the eighth best book I've ever read. And if you're wondering what the other seven are, take a wild guess. Now, first of all, let me say, and I'm not just saying this to protect my reputation, I actually didn't really watch much iCarly. But after this, I kind of feel like binge watching it. And apparently it did have like a following with older people and with males, like, I think, Brad and Angelina said they watched it, but I mean, they have kids, so they get a pass. iCarly was on, I think around the same time Hannah Montana was on. And you know, that show, you just had to avoid like the plague. Not just because you're a pubescent boy, but because, well, it's actually a bad show. And even Hannah herself said so. But I still love you, Miley. Even though I don't wear this shirt in public much. But from what I've heard, iCarly was like a less successful, but ultimately better version of Hannah Montana. Not sure that's saying much. But I do remember specifically thinking that the blonde girl on that show was hot. Hot enough that I would buy her book over a decade later? Well, apparently. Or, or you know, it could be the title, like I said. But what makes this book so great? Well, I didn't know a book could be so sad and also so funny. It's an art, and Jeanette McCurdy has mastered it here. I'm glad my mom died is hysterical and heartbreaking and fascinating all at the same time. First of all, the chapters are only about maybe three pages long, sometimes less. It really details the suckage of growing up. Like, as Jeanette grows up in this book, you grow up with her. And you know, growing up it's a terrible feeling, but you know, somebody's going down with you. This is kind of like boyhood in book form. It's like bookhood. <laughs> Jeanette, you know, she's a child star, and while I was a child, I wasn't really a star per se. I mean, sure, just like Jeanette, I did some acting. My magnum opus, of course, would be when I played a bad singer in what was once the number one show in America. Which, as we all know, is way out of my comfort zone. But to read what she went through, I mean, are, are there other moms like this? Sure, the book's title has stirred up plenty of controversy, but if those people could only read it. Her mom made her shower with her brother? How embarrassing is that? Well, not as embarrassing as being in Fred the movie, but still, oh my God, that's traumatizing. So in conclusion, big thank you to Miss McCurdy, uh, Jeanette, not her mom, because of course her mom died. Be sure to subscribe for more content, probably not content like this, but content nonetheless. And Jeanette, if you're ready to return to acting, we're ready to watch you.